Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, today we are in the subterranean greenhouse. As you can see, I'm doing some more improvements. I'm constantly trying to uh, make this uh, nicer and just uh, more like, you know, a room, you know, pleasing. So um, I put this shelf up. It's like a repurposed uh, piano top. Um, you can see some of the more of the, it's got some nice molding on it. Might as well. And uh, this is uh, some reclaimed uh, barn uh, fur I got from a friend um, in Chill Coffee. And uh, I've got my bay plant right here, rosemary. Um, the citrus is down here, you can see, doing well. Uh, these are doing well. Uh, the calamondron's got some yellowing on it. I think it's from, um, honestly, I think it needs to be up potted. And I think it needs a little bit more light. So I've got the supplemental light going up here. I also went ahead and installed a couple of these nice lights my mom gave me you know guys uh most of this greenhouse uh was built with uh repurposed materials um we are have been blessed with lots of people getting rid of stuff and you know when you know what you want um and you know what you're looking for you can um scavenge some pretty neat stuff so there's the rocket stove down there um and i'm actually filming the right way this time so the video shouldn't be small um, I've been doing Instagram for a couple years now, so I'm used to the vertical format. So anyway, here's the rain barrel. So today we're going to be talking about the water systems. Um, I catch rain from the gutter outside the greenhouse. I'll show you that. Um, but, um, you know, like I said, I'm making it nice. I've got these, uh, teak, uh, Sarah's parents gave us a teak table and it was kind of falling apart. So I scavenged some pieces from it. Got these really nice slatted pieces and I think I want to cover the rain barrel with one um, just to make it look nicer. And, uh, but first I gotta do some work to the rain barrel. Um, I've got to, there's some stuff that fell into it. I need to get out of it. Um, but yeah, the plan is, is to, I have a hole up there as you can see. And uh, it goes to the front gutter and it's gonna go down and I need to create an overflow system to connect to the IBC tote that's around. So I'm gonna take you outside and kind of show you some more stuff here. So this is still a mess of an area, but this is the antechamber, um, which is essentially just, uh, you know, a little shelter from the wind. Um, something tore apart a bird, so I hung up its feet. But anyway, you know, so anyway, uh, so this just blocks the wind so that the door is kind of protected. But what I need to do is I need to seal this up a little bit more. I'm gonna put a real door here as well. But anyway, I just had to build this little staircase that goes down. You can see it's kind of trashy right now, but um, <sighs> I gotta fix this door too. Always something to be fixed in here. So we're back in. I'm not even running the rocket stove today. And it's, um, let's see. A little under 70 in here. We got tons of sun today, so put this fish tank. We got some algae forming. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I think I might uh, get some fish for it, maybe. But there's going to be a lot of cool stuff happening this year, guys. Uh, we're going to do our seedlings in here um, when I get that cleaned up. And, uh, you know, I show you the nitty gritty here. I don't clean all this up before I film these videos. But hopefully, you like these more vlog style videos. I could put these out faster. Um, I'll also try to clip together some good stuff too. Um, I really like these lights. My mom gave them to us. I think they look good there. I have this. This is uh, all salvaged from our old deck we took down. So I'm just trying to. I thought it looked pretty good when it dried out. So yeah, just constantly trying to make it look nicer. So anyway, back to the water. Actually, first I want to talk about this back gutter because this has been the problem so far. So I've got this back area here. I've got a, there's a gutter that's down under there, but I need to fix it again. So the gutter runs down, connects in with the, uh, overflow. And that will just constantly come down, um, uh, because you know, that front, that front catches a lot of rain. So, um, I don't really need both gutters catching rain for the thing. So this is all part of the master water system. I want to start up at the house, slope it down into the greenhouse thing, overflow into the IBC tote overflow. I've got another rain barrel down there with the ducks and chickens. So let's go back inside the greenhouse and talk more about the water. So the weather finally broke, which is awesome. It's only like not even 30, it's like 32 or something like that. It feels like it's 50 out. So here's the front of the greenhouse right here. 
back it up. So yeah, as you can see, the greenhouse is toward the winter sun up there. Um, we're actually on a north facing slope, which is not ideal. Um, but it kind of, you know, flattens out right here. So great spot. Um, it's the only spot we could have put it. So it's right in front of our garage. Uh, but anyway, I've got the gutters here. And this one's catching the rain that comes off the front, which is a decent amount actually. And I've got to fix up this area right here. The end cap fell off. So I've got a, there's a plastic coupling here or a rubber coupling down to the two. Uh, I believe this is a two inch PVC goes right in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in another pipe that goes here and have a shutoff valve. So when the greenhouse rain barrel gets full, I can shut that off. And I'm going to put the overflow going down. Here's the rocket stove behind the greenhouse. It's going to go behind here. It's going to go down beside the garage. Sarah made that pretty cool. And then here's our IVC tote, which is 1,000 gallons or 1,000 liters. Uh, I think it's 300 gallons, actually. So, yeah. So, um, I just made the stand for it. And... Um, what I want to do is I want to run the PVC down, put a hole right there, and put a sump pump there, and it's going to go up. And when it, the sump gets full, it'll pump it up here. You can see I've got that galvanized bucket that's putting the water in right now. This thing fills up pretty well. Um, let's see if it's in. Oh, it's still frozen. But yeah, and then this will overflow into my dry creek bed and then down to the bottom of the property. So we'll go back inside the greenhouse and I'll talk more. So the idea is that first the rain barrel was over there, but the rocket stove's there now, can't have it there. So the sun doesn't really hit this, unfortunately. So it doesn't really act as a thermal um, battery. Um, to be honest, right now it might be acting as like a negative thing, radiating cold. Um, but, you know, these things, you know, you kind of learn these things as you go. It's really hard to account for all this different stuff. Uh, but I need to fix this area behind here. You can see it's still open to the ground. So I'm going to kind of close it off a little bit. You know, um, I didn't really, it's hard to know where air is coming from. But when I run the rocket stove, it really, really makes uh, drafts happen. So you can feel where all the air is getting pulled through, pulled through down into the uh, tunnel. I'm gonna clean out the rocket stove too. Always lots to do around here. Another common question I always get is, uh, how do you keep water from flooding it when it rains? And the answer is that when we built this, well, there's several answers really. When we built this greenhouse, let me flip this around here. So there's the start of our property up here comes down water runs down here and it continues on down to actually most of our property is a floodplain we have an acre and three quarters of the acre is a floodplain um, which is awesome we're restoring that right now and I will make some more videos about that this spring and summer if you guys are interested um, I'll have to do land management and uh, you know uh, plant a bunch of native species especially food producing species and uh, you know make a haven for wildlife we have tons of birds on our property hawks and uh we've had blue herons and cardinals warblers i mean everything um but anyway so water runs down this was actually an old settling tank so it was a circular cylinder of bricks that was circumvented by a wall of perforated bricks and i believe that's an old um basically like a really old drainage system for a house uh, maybe for gray water possibly for sewage I don't know it wasn't it was pretty clean other than the debris that was in there um, but you can see this little cog wheel right here is from that but um, anyway so lots of good drainage already when we dug this pit we actually dug into the rock and uh, well not the bedrock but there's like packed gravel and backfill so we ended up stopping at four feet um, and maybe eventually I'll dig a little bit deeper to get a cold well going but uh, we'll talk about that in another video. So anyway, 
in front of the greenhouse here, I burbed up a lot of dirt and I know it's hard to tell that from this perspective, but let's get down a little like that. Maybe you can see the difference there. So let's try it that way. So you can see the dirt is humped up. I've got strawberries planted there. You can see the sign Sarah made adults only. But that berm helps direct the water around the greenhouse. And as well as I have a berm here. And we've gotten tons of rain up to four inches in a day um, and never flooded. The most that's ever happened was I had like maybe a trickle come down. Um, and I just need to build this area right here up a little bit more because the water comes down. But you learn a lot about where the water runs on your property when you do something like this. So if I have any advice, it's know your water table and pay attention to where water drains on your property um, and you can do it. Thanks for watching guys. Um, tune in next time because um, I'm doing a lot of cool stuff with the uh, with the rain barrel here. Uh, I've got a lot of kind of like, you know, weird stuff I got to do with it. So I'm going to film all that and then uh, next time, maybe in a couple days, I will have a video out on um, how I connect the rain barrel and do the overflow and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, whatever, and uh, see you next time.